People have a lot of questions about the mysterious new Chinese AI DeepSeek. Like, how was it really trained? And is it censoring its answers? But so far, no one's asked the most important question. Can it write a decent melody? And how do its musical abilities compare to ChatGPT? If you ask me, these questions are really important, because they have the potential to result in a popular yet incredibly lazy video that might help people discover my more thoughtful and well-produced content. So let's dive in. Here's the plan. I'm gonna ask DeepSeek and ChatGPT01 to face off against each other. First, writing a melody, then writing a bass line, and then finally, well, I asked them to write a Chopin prelude using fourth-based harmony instead of triadic harmony. That turned out pretty interesting. Anyway, I assume at the end we'll know whether machines have souls. So I started with a simple prompt, telling DeepSeek that we're gonna write some music together and that it should format the responses as a list of pitch volumes and durations. I set some ground rules about how these should be represented and gave a few examples. Having done that, I asked it to write me a melody in 3-4 that expresses a mysterious, unsettling mood. It should be eight measures long and have a variety of rhythms and rests. Here's what it came up with. You'll notice right off the bat that I made a couple mistakes, like measures that only have two beats in them. But let's plug it into my Python script and see how it sounds. So having seen that, I thought it might be good to let it reflect and improve a little. Oh, and there's this deep think button. Let's try clicking that too. So it turns out that the result of clicking that button is hilarious. It starts planning what it's gonna do before it does it. And reading through this text felt like listening to the internal monologue of a student who was kind of confused about the assignment. Measure two adds up to three. But wait, the rest of two beats in three, four time? That would mean the rest is two beats, so the total is three. Wait, no, that's correct. Oh no, that's only two beats. That's incorrect for three, four time. That's a critical error. Wait, no, measure six has four notes, each 0.5, totaling two beats. Wait, 0.5 times four equals two. That's only two beats. So how did it turn out in the end? Let's take a listen. Well, first of all, after that tortured internal dialogue, it did finally get the right number of beats in every measure. Also, when it wasn't fretting about how long the measures should be, it talked a little bit about adding some chromaticism, which I guess made it a little more mysterious. But the bigger thing here is that there seems to be a kind of shape to the whole thing, with a basic idea, a sort of varied repetition, and then a longer elaboration of those ideas for the second half. It's kind of like a classic musical sentence structure that a composer like Beethoven would use. But let's see how ChatGPT's O1 does with the same prompt. Well, right off the bat, O1 starts telling me that it's doing things like crafting intricate patterns, balancing registers, and tailoring rhythmic structures. It talks a big game, but how does it sound? I mean, quite a bit better. To start with, it got the right number of beats in every measure, but I don't think that's a fair comparison because it started out doing the pre-planning stuff. The main way in which it's better though is that it feels like it has a sense of musical grammar. Like it does something resembling a half cadence here in measure four. And I like the way that it does a nod to E flat major, the relative major in the second half, and hits a high point on the B flat about three quarters of the way through. Once I turned on the deep think button, deep seek did start to do some of these things too, but I think ChatGPT went further and was more successful with it. Still, these are just initial results. Let's go back and give them both a little more guidance. I asked deep seek to revise it one more time, this time focusing on getting a good balance between coherence and unpredictability, which is really key for good music, right? I suggested it might do this by developing some rhythmic or melodic motifs. After thinking about it for a little while, this is what deep seek came up with. I don't know if you noticed, but the first half was exactly the same. It's kind of funny, in the pre-planning step, it talked about doing a little chromatic scale from E flat to F sharp, as though that's not exactly what it did in the first version. It took a kind of sweeping gesture and made it more confined, and added this quote, alien pitch at the very end, that just kind of falls flat. It's almost like it can't actually hear the result of what it's doing. But hey, I wonder what ChatGPT did with the revision process. So this is interesting. On the one hand, you can really see how ChatGPT was following the brief. 
like it introduced some repeated rhythmic and melodic motifs. For example, measure three is a transposition of measure one up a minor third. But I have to say, I actually like ChatGPT's original attempt better. It just sings and breathes better, which kind of makes me wonder if since the original instructions were more open-ended, it was able to hew closer to something in the training data. I mean, I'm not saying it's a direct copy of something in the training data, but the original melody sounded more like the work of someone who's actually hearing the music, and the revision sounds more like someone following through on an exercise. But still, overall, ChatGPT is doing better so far. So let's move on to round two, where we add a bass line. Here I asked the AIs for a bass line that should complement the melody rhythmically and suggest an appropriate harmonic backdrop. DeepSeek thought about this for a little while, and it brought out some important concerns. Let's see how it does. I went ahead and copied this new bass line into a new Python script, clicked run, and this is what came out. You know, it's interesting. I actually don't hate it. It makes me like the melody more for some reason, but I wouldn't say that it followed the brief really. I asked for something that would complement the melody rhythmically, not imitate it. I mean, there are a couple places where it mixes up the rhythm and I think to a really cool effect, but overall this has more of a sense of heterophony than polyphony, by which I mean two varied copies of the same thing rather than two different complementary lines. And also this isn't really creating a harmonic backdrop. It plays different pitches and the intervals are kind of interesting, but I don't get a sense of an implied chord progression or anything. Overall, I feel like it stumbled onto something cool by accident. Let's see how ChatGPT did with the same prompt. Well, after taking some time to craft a balance of order and surprise, ChatGPT came up with this. I mean, this is much more what I was hoping for. Two lines that are clearly related to one another, sometimes lining up rhythmically, other times intertwining. You can definitely see the result of the pre-thinking that ChatGPT is doing. Like measures one and five, which are parallel measures in the melody, have the same bass line. Also, the intervals between the two parts in measures six and seven are pretty convincing as they move in contrary motion towards an octave. I mean, not gonna lie, I kinda like this, but I think it's time to really throw them a curveball. And so as a final challenge, I asked them to write a fast, dramatic, miniature Chopin-style prelude that, unlike Chopin, features fourth-based harmony rather than triadic harmony. I asked them to incorporate deeper aspects of Chopin's writing, not just the superficial stuff. And I also gave them a way to supply chords and pedaling instructions. Are you ready? Here's what Deep Seek came up with. This is getting interesting. I mean, again, it didn't really follow the brief. This is more like layering of different triadic harmonies rather than fourth based harmony, but I can't say I hate it. So I thought I would give it one more chance to improve by having it ask itself how Chopin would critique its prelude and then revise it based on that. The result was hilarious. Check out Chopin's critique. Cher ami, you grasp the storm, but forget the poetry. Quarto harmonies need not be barbaric. Make them sing. Where's the rubato? The bass crawls where it should dance. And this ending, mon dieu, it stops rather than dissolves. Having taken that critique to heart, this is what the revision sounded like. Ooh, what do you think? I should say that according to Deep Seek, Chopin would probably react like this. Ah, now I hear moonlight in the storm. Keep the force, but let them weep as well as rage. C'est presque bien. I mean, personally, I love the total chaos of this. I will say that all of that moonlight did come at the cost of incorrectly labeled pitches and measures that don't add up to the right number of beats. But I can't help but feel like as a composer, I would want to work with this material. Like part of me really wants to write a set of AI generated Chopin etudes using material like this as a jumping off point. But again, I think this is maybe a case of it stumbling into something interesting rather than actually being competent. But hey, you know where we're going next. Let's see how ChatGPT did with the same prompt. After such preliminary actions as crafting a vibrant motif and simplifying that motif, ChatGPT came up with this. Again, ChatGPT shows more understanding of the prompt. Like it's actually using fourth-paced harmony. 
But musically, it's kind of dull and repetitive, right? I wouldn't say that it exhibits the sweeping, elegant drive or sudden breathless shifts that ChatGPT says it does. Let's let ChatGPT get some help from the master as well. What would Chopin do? ChatGPT expresses Chopin's opinions a little less creatively, but I do like the sound of avoiding chunk, chunk, chunk chords. After taking in the feedback, here's what ChatGPT finally comes up with. Interesting, right? I mean, I should say that ChatGPT put only three beats in the first bar of the right hand. I had to fix that so it didn't get out of alignment for the rest of the piece. But overall, my impression is sort of similar to how I felt about what Deep Seek produced. I could work with this. There's certain elements and gestures that I like, like these four against three polyrhythms. I also feel like ChatGPT does a pretty good job of having the hands rhythmically complement one another, making gestures together or trading off. Overall, my takeaway from all of this is that Deep Seek isn't bad, but ChatGPT's O1 is obviously superior in musical understanding. And I think both could actually be interesting sources of inspiration for a composer. If anything, Deep Seek may be a little bit more so, but I wonder if that just has to do with the temperature of the model or some other easily tweaked parameter. Anyway, I'd probably better stop there. This video isn't quite as lazy as I wanted it to be. But what do you all think? And should I make a video where they compete to write beats? Oh, and if you want to try any of this for yourself, I've put the Python scripts that I used up on Patreon. So maybe this is a good opportunity to check that out and see if you want to support my channel. Also, if you want to learn more from me about writing music in Python, you can check out my course on cadenze.com or my upcoming Zoom workshop. I'll put the links in the description.